My name is Jackie McLeish. I'm the center director here at Florida Autism Center Tampa. Um, and I just want to quickly say thank you to everybody who has come out to help support us. Uh, it means so much to have this amount of support from the community here. Um, we're expecting great things. We've already accomplished great things. And uh, we hope that you guys see lots of great things to come from us in the future. I'm going to go ahead and announce um, our councilman, Louis Vieira. Uh, and he's going to say a couple of words, uh, and we will go ahead and get started. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I wanted to welcome everybody here for the opening of this Florida Autism Center site. You know, this is a really great development for our community and for this area, not just for North Tampa, but for all of Tampa. Institutions like this provide early intervention for children who have been faced with the possibility of being diagnosed with autism. And as we know, early intervention makes real changes and gets real results. So we wanted to thank everybody for coming out here. This is a place, and I was happy to learn that this institution not just accepts private insurance, but Medicaid as well and public insurance. So it's an institution that is open to all families, regardless essentially of the quality of insurance that you may have. And of course, here for the city of Tampa, this is something that is so very spe special and unique for us. Thanks to our mayor, we have now a wonderful new program for sensory uh, adaptation and sensory integration within the city of Tampa for children with autism. So this is something that is really part of the city of Tampa. And for me, it goes to a larger issue, which is being part of what I call the family of Tampa, which is that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, including whatever disability you may have, you're part of the family of Tampa. So I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out here today and wonderful uh, congratulations to the Florida uh, uh, to this uh, wonderful center for your opening. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Um, all right, so next we have, um, we're honored to have Mayor Buckhorn here um, and I will give him the floor. <laughs> You heard from uh, Councilman Vieira, who happens to represent this area here, but let me also introduce Councilmember Guido Maniscalco, who's right here behind me as well. Um, this is personal for us as a city. You know, we talk a lot about not leaving any neighborhood behind and any part of our city behind. That is also true when it comes to the citizens that we represent. We cannot leave any, anybody behind regardless um, of the things that affect their lives. And so we as a community have launched uh, an effort to become a, a autism friendly city. And we are implementing a number of procedures in some of our parks and recreation centers uh, that will allow those children and those adults who are somewhere on the autism spectrum to enjoy the same benefits and the same quality of life that everyone else in our community enjoys. It is important for us. I know uh, Councilman Vieira has been touched personally um, by his experiences. And I think we as a city have an obligation to make sure that everybody in our community enjoys the same benefits, particularly the children. And so we're happy to be here. Uh, we're happy to be a part of this ribbon cutting, but more importantly, we're happy to be a part of the discussion and the movement to make sure that anybody who is touched by autism um, has the same chances and the same benefits and the same opportunities for a great quality of life in this community that everyone else does. This is a great step for a segment of our population that needs us to stand up for them. They may be voiceless, but we are not. This is a good day and congratulations, thanks. Um, we're also gonna ask um, Councilman Maniscalco to come up as well and say a few words next. It's really an honor to be here with you on this exciting day here in uh, New Tampa area. You know, the, the goal that we all share, you heard from the mayor, you heard from Councilman Vieira, is that we want to be a city and continue to be a city that's inclusive and welcoming to everybody, where everybody has an equal opportunity. And our children and their future are so important, and this is just a great step in making Tampa an autism-friendly city uh, and keeping it open to uh, everyone that, that wants to come here and, uh, and raise their children in a, in a happy and Happy environment. Thank you very much. All right, let's count down. All right, one, one two, two, three. three.